Welcome to the third video for our Buddha Khan Basics mini series. Today we are going through some of our warrior poses, a couple of the lunges, and a little bit of the stronger um, poses in our Buddha Khan series, Buddha Khan Yoga series. I'll also throw in at the end some really fun animal movements to get your heart rate elevated and to get you playful and having fun. To start with, as Always, we start in our kneeling position, sitting back on the heels. Take a moment to reset your mind, your body, to check in, and just to start breathing deeply before we begin our yoga practice. solidify the beginning of our asana or movement practice for Buddha. Take your right hand and then your left hand to the floor. Bound your forehead right between the hands. Rise up patiently, slowly. Replace your hands back to your legs and we shall begin. We'll start with a little warm up, a rolling wave and a rolling vinyasa before we get going into our lunges. So let's go ahead and take four point base crumbs on my mat, four point base, widen out the hands, take them right under, under the shoulders, pressing into the fingertips. Evenly distribute the weight between the hands. Step the right foot and the left foot straight back into plank pose. From plank pose, press into the hands, cobra hood, tuck the chin and roll back to downward facing dog for our starting position in our wave movements, our rolling movements. Take a moment in down dog, pedal the feet, Check out how the body's feeling again. If you want to go side to side, press the heels down, shake the head. Make this down dog feel good. Okay, rolling wave. You got your good strong, lengthened downward facing dog position. Lift the heels and elevate the tailbone. Tuck the chin, roll forward from the tailbone to the upper back. Finding lots of strength through your core, upper body, engaging the quads by lifting up the knees. And then hips descend. Moving into floating up dog, roll the shoulders back, lift the chest, the heart, and the gaze. Roll it back, tuck the chin, press into the hands. And make your way back to downward facing dog. There's a rolling wave, right into rolling vinyasa. If you remember this, let's do it together. Lift the heels, and I will lead you through this. Lift the tailbone, tuck the chin, roll forward, this time stopping in a plank pose. Lengthening out, shoulders over the fingers. Keep shifting forward in that plank pose. Bend the elbows into the side of the body, lower prone position. Push your knees forward, lifting your butt, flatten the feet. Wave like roll for a cobra roll into upward facing dog. Toes are pointed this time. Look down, press into the hands and roll back to downward facing dog, flipping the toes when it feels natural. We head into our lunge series. So let's go ahead and take the feet together so the big toes touch and you're downward facing dog. This is where we get into the demi point of our feet. We'll take the right leg, start to elevate slowly. So instead of just swinging it up and using momentum, you should be able to stop at any point throughout your yoga practice. So lift that leg high enough so that the hip doesn't start to open. We stay internally rotated with that leg. Keeping, all right, then find that position. Bend your knee, heel to your sit bone, keeping the knee in line with the hip. Now draw the knee forward into the chest without moving anything just yet. Lift the left heel, and then keep drawing forward, shifting the upper body forward into a high plank pose, cobra hood with that knee to your nose. Do you feel that strength? Hold it. Knee forward in between the elbows. Gently place the foot between the hands. 
That might be challenging. We're going to keep working on it through time. That's our slow, low uh, transition into low lunge. To stay in that low lunge, we'll take the left hand, this is right leg forward, left hand reaches forward, take the back foot and spin it down to the floor. And then this is, a, you'll notice this is like a side angle position, possibly. We're going to keep moving slowly up into warrior two. Warrior two. And Buddha Khan typically our right palm, front palm is facing upward. Press into the big toe of that front foot or the little toe of the front foot to keep that knee open, hips open. Let's reverse that, coming back down into a low lunge. Right hand places to the floor first on the outside of the foot. Left hand slowly draws its way down, circling. Lift the back heel into a low lunge. Press into the hands, knee to the nose. Same position as we did to get into it. We just reverse it. Slowly press back to your single leg, down dog, demi point the foot with a neutral pelvis. Lower the right foot. So we've got two sides. Let's just hit the other side right away. Feet together, lift the left leg, demi point the foot. Neutral in the hips, square to the ground. Keep the chin tucked, keep your body strong. Bend the left knee, heels to, heel to your butt, heel to sit bone. Knee to the chest through the midline of the body. Lift your right heel, keep shifting forward, lifting up high. Try to get light in your body, lifted. Keep shifting forward so the shoulders are over the fingertips. Knee to the nose. And step gently, you might not get all the way there, between the hands. Back heel spins down into a warrior stance, so seal the blade of the back foot. Right hand reaches forward this time. Open up and stretch out the right side of the body. Keep your gaze at that right hand as it rises. And then we get light on the left hand, slowly elevating to warrior two. Then start to look forward at the left hand. Then deep into the left knee, pressing into the little toe side. Found warrior two. Let's reverse that. Bring it back and reach forward into reaching warrior. Left hand to the outside of the foot. Right hand slowly circling down and around. Feel the movement through every articulation. Feel the sensation of what's going on and keep breathing. When your hands are down, right heel lifts up. Low lunge. Press into the hands, cobra hood. Take that left knee, left foot lifted, left knee lifted, knee to nose. Reverse it to single leg down and facing dog. And the left foot draws down towards the floor. In between, we do a rolling wave. Feet hip distance apart. I mean, rolling vinyasa. Lift the heels. Roll through the spine. You can do rolling wave or rolling vinyasa. It's not actually up to you. It's just resetting your body by moving it equally on the right and the left side. Rolling wave, you can come to floating up dog or continue your journey through that rolling vinyasa. Back to downward facing dog. Feet together, once again. Draw that right leg up. Demi point the foot with neutral hips. Right knee bends, hold the heel to the sit bone. Lift the left heel, draw that right knee forward. Shifting your body forward. Heading towards a low lunge. Plant the foot softly between the hands. Spin the back heel down, warrior stance. Left hand reaches forward and around, circling yourself up to warrior two. From warrior two, right hand keeps elevating, left hand down, like you're heading to reverse warrior. Shift in the legs so you face the back. Cross the hands, double block, high drop stance. So you might have to take a look at this. 
where you were. We'll go back and forth a couple times. From this high drop stance with a double block, right hand makes a little circle like you're grabbing a knife from your belt. Shift your legs back forward, head back to warrior two. Circular motion with the arms. Lean back, shift the legs, opposite stance. Keep looking forward at that right hand. High drop stance, double block. Make a little circle by your waist, back to warrior two. One more time, high drop stance, double block. Then back to warrior two, little circle. Shift forward. Shift forward into a reaching warrior. Bend the back knee and lift off to flying warrior. Hips are open. External rotation of that left hip. Reach with the ball of the back foot. Reach with the hand, right hand and left hand. Then press into the right foot. Step back into warrior two. One more time, high drop, in the block. Shift and block. Your hands are blades in the blocking. Keep the fingers together. Back to warrior two. Reach super far forward, reaching warrior. Right hand to the ground on the outside of the foot. Left hand does that slow circle like the setting sun to the ground. Left heel lifts, low lunge, press into the hands, chamber the knee, knee to nose, and extend slow back to single leg down dog. Lower the right leg. Feet together, big toes touching, left side this time, left leg rises, demi point, neutral hips. Left knee bends, pull the heel to the sit bone. Lift the right heel and draw the left knee forward through the center of the body, right up to the forehead, shifting forward, cobra hood. Lift a lot, use that core strength. Take it slow, step between the hands. Back heel spins down, warrior stance. Right hand reaching forward, keep looking forward as we rise to warrior two. When your hands are straight up and down, lift the upper body. Left palm facing up. From warrior two, high drop stance, double block. Left hand rises, right hand down the back leg. Shift your stance, cross your hands in front of your face. Double block, blocking down with the left hand, up with the right. Make a little circle with that left hand back to warrior two. Shift the legs. Do that again, circular motion into high drop stance, double block. Right foot should be at about a 45 degree angle towards the back corner of the mat. Back to warrior two. One more time, high drop stance, double block. It's strong, grounded. Back to warrior two. Shift forward, lean forward, reach, bend the back leg, take off. Flying warrior. Keep reaching, and that's the important part is the reach. With the left hand, the right foot, the right hip, going up, right hand reaching back. Back to warrior two, step back gently and softly. High drop stance, double block. Warrior two, into reaching warrior, as far as you can forward. Reach for it. Left hand to the outside of the foot. We take it down to the ground. Right heel picks up. Left knee bends. Slow extension. Just single leg down dog. Lower the left foot. Rolling weight or rolling vinyasa, feet hip distance. Lift the heels, tuck the chin and roll forward. Into high plank pose. Elbows bend and you lower to the ground. Cobra roll, or maybe you're an up dog already. Look down, cobra hood, and roll back to downward facing dog. We got one more lunge series. We'll just go through that one more time. Take the feet together, big toes touching, right leg elevates, lengthens. 
Bend the right knee, heel to your sit bone. Lift the heel, knee to nose, shift forward, and step between the hands. Back heel spins down. Again, you circle up. Left hand leading the way to warrior two. High drop stance, double block, continue moving circularly, crossing and blocking. Right hand makes that circle as we transition back to warrior two into flying warrior, take off. Now this is a challenging next movement. We'll take left leg forward, it's called falling warrior. Left leg forward, we turn to the right, 180 degrees. Jump. 
Can we do that three more times? Sweep, jump forward. Take it back. Two more. Last one. By now, you might be feeling your quads and your hip flexors. So you can sit and take a moment. Catching your breath. This next one's pretty fun as well. I say they're all pretty fun, but you might be like, Ashley, what the heck are you talking about? That's crazy. That's why I like it so much. All right, I like things that are a little bit crazy. All right, I'll give you levels to this one. It's called crocodile. We've got plank position. Easy way to do this is opposite hand, opposite foot. Push forward, push forward, push back, push back. So you're walking forward on a mat, wherever. So that is option number one. Option number two is to try a little hop from plank pose. Bend the elbows a little bit, look forward, and you propel, pushing yourself from your toes forward, lifting up all hands and feet at the same time. As you exhale, jump. Jump back. Jump forward. That kind of thing, right? The actual movement of crocodile starts from a low plank position. You're down here, and you're going to land with a little hip, hip propulsion, lifts you up, and then back. So you can tell, I still need to work on that a little bit, just wanted to show you those movements. So play around with some of those. Of course, don't do it if it's painful. Catch your breath when you need to, take breaks, and come back and do a few more.
Switch sides, bring that left leg up, down without touching the ground, hopefully. Switch, left leg under, right leg swings around. Pigeon pose, really great stretch for the outside to the hip, external rotation. So you're gonna lift and inhale, press into a little back bend. Exhale, lower, lift, down, exhale. Lift one more time. And down. Rise. Take that right leg around. And lower to the ground. Rolling forward or reaching forward and rolling to the floor. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. Take both knees down to the right into a spinal twist. Hold and breathe. Keep both shoulders anchored to the floor. Lift the legs back up. Switch sides. Legs down to the left. Open up the arm. Right arm. Right shoulder stays down. And then lift the legs back up. Hug the knees in. Cross your ankles, back, yeah, cross your ankles. Roll forward and back. Come on up to a seated pose. You can sit cross-legged or back to our seated up position. Sitting on the heels. Take a few deep breaths, close the eyes. Hands resting gently on, on your legs. And that concludes our Budokan Basics three-part little mini video series. I hope you enjoyed that. Keep practicing, keep at it, and I hope to see you next time for some more Budokan yoga classes.